Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm finally back in the Philippines from a five-day trip uh, in Las Vegas for uh, the coverage of CES. But it's really more of a quote-unquote coverage because I wasn't actually there to really go around and, you know, uh, visit all of the booths that I can visit. But I was there to really um, focus more on MSI's products and also Meta because you know uh, they invited me to to attend. I also got to showstoppers but I was a little late uh, but uh, thanks to Isa Rodriguez for hooking me up with uh, showstoppers and I can't wait to travel again next year uh, to cover CES yet again. All right so why are we here? I'm here to talk about the things I experienced at the booth of Meta where they showed me the uh, Ray-Ban stories, which I am wearing right now, and also uh, the Oculus uh, Quest Pro, or they call this now Meta Quest Pro. And I have my eyes now on the Meta Quest Pro for a few weeks now, and I must say that my experience with the Meta Quest Pro was outstanding. Totoyo, no, walang walang halo biro, and that's probably coming from someone who is really a big fan of VR and also AR. Because, uh, yeah, when I was there also, I bought Unreal Air Glasses. And here's a quick video of that, me using and uh, demoing it on screen. But you know what? Uh, and also, before I forget, no, here's, uh, as, I, as you can see, I'm wearing it right now. This is the Ray-Ban Stories. This is a product that they actually announced back in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they actually launched a few variants of it last year. And what I'm wearing right now is the Wayfair with the gray transitions. And as you can see, medyo, medyo grayish ng content. If I, if I go out at my arrow, it will change to something else. Now, just to compartmentalize uh, the things that I experienced there and to share with you. Number one is uh, this one, Ray-Ban Stories. I see some beauty in this one. Number one is that... Um, this one has a camera. Uh, it shoots photos and videos. You can also take a photo of it using the button right here. Maybe button yan dito. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you know, some B-roll spray probably I, I can show that with you. Now, the, the purpose of this is that uh, if you take a video by pressing this button right here, this one lights up, which indicates that you are shooting a video. Hindi siya creepy in some way because you know that the person you're talking with is being recorded. And even if you don't say that, which by law you should be saying, no? uh, especially if you're not in a public space, um, the person you're talking with would know that you're doing. So, hindi siya creepy. No? The reason for me, the um, pinaka use case for me here is that I see this as a way or easily a way for me to be able to uh, take a video of certain memories that I wish to capture and share it instantly on my uh, social media, um, you know, platforms. Now, while this one is hyper, you know, um, this is really more of hyper focus on, uh, or for rather, for Facebook, Instagram, uh, Facebook and Instagram rather, when you shoot a video with this one, automatically papasok siya sa Facebook view app depending on what setting you did. And then you can download it and you can use it and upload it on your social media uh, platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Now, you can also use this on other platforms if you want to, but primarily it is for that. Now, the app would also help you, you know, decide whether you're going to change the uh, orientation to vertical. But just to let you know, it shoots at one by one ratio and there's no way for you to change that. If you crop it down to, let's say, um, 9 by 16, no, lalabas nito is that it would crop the one by one video. It's it's something that I don't want about it, but maybe the limitation, uh, you know, kind of you know, skews you to doing that or limit limits you to doing that only. Now, um, also when I when you get into hopefully it doesn't happen when you get into an accident, no, it's easy for you to take uh, or to capture you no know, certain certain evidences that uh, would really help you document what really happened. Um, birthday stories, things that you don't want to miss. May bilin sa yung nanay mo na ayaw mong makalimutan. No? <laughs> and you, don't want, you want to actually capture that moment. And that can easily be done without you flipping out your phone 
and taking a photo and video of it. You just simply press and hold this, and then that's it. You've taken a photo. It's an interesting device, and I like it. It's a Ray-Ban as well, and that is why I am really happy with, with this purchase of uh, mine. <laughs> um, now, uh, this is Ray-Ban Stories, and uh, two things that you need to know when you buy this. Should you buy this? Link is in the description below. Now, should you buy this? The Facebook app for iOS can only be downloaded if you have, number one, a US App Store account. And number two, the only way for you to be able to, you, to have a US App Store account is if you have a US number. No? I was able to do that. I was in the US. I could not download it with my Apple account. So I bought a SIM, a prepaid SIM paired it with another Apple account that I just made. And then that's it. I was able to download Facebook View app. Now, maybe there are some ways for you to be able to, you know, download it using your own account, your current account, you know. Uh, you can probably look for ways to do that. But yeah, that is for iOS. And for Android, uh, if you're you downloading it uh, using your PH account, you can't do that because it's not available, um, quote-unquote, natively on, your, on, on the Play Store. But rather, should you wish to do it, you can download APKs, you know, and yeah, do it. I was able to do it with, with my portal, Facebook portal. I have a uh, Facebook portal. Hindi rin available, no, yung uh, Facebook portal in the Philippine App Store and Play Store. So, what I did is just simply downloaded um, uh, an APK on my Android and, you know, just use my uh, Facebook, uh, my, rather my App Store uh, US account. No? So yeah, uh, again, that's a word of note. Uh, should you wish to buy the Ray-Ban Stories here in the Philippines, if you want to buy it, it's available now on App Store. Link is in the description. And it might take you around $240 to $320, no, depending on what uh, model you get. But I believe it's now on sale at $240 at the time of the production of this video. Next, let's move on to Quest Pro. The sort of improvements, no? um, there, there, are, there are more cameras, it feels a little lighter because of the distribution of weight. No? Um, Inayos nila yun, no? Dati kasi front-loaded yung weight niya. The weight is actually more on the front side because the batteries are there, all the sensors are there. Whatever is basically holding onto that is, of course, the strap that, that's on here, you know, at the back. Now, what they did is they kind of changed it, the distribution. In, essentially, it is heavier. It is a heavier device, but it felt lighter. During my, um, my experience with the device, I got to play around with some um, applications that they made, no? uh, and uh, it, it even captures uh, my facial expressions. And that for me is something that is really cool. Use case scenario here is that if you're having a chat, a video chat with your mom, with your dad, if you smile, it would show. I can see that it's, oh, I can see it now. Oh, cool. The green girl with the flower hair. Yeah, I can see it. So whatever you do with your eyes and mouth and cheeks and eyebrows, it's going to mirror. Does it have internal yeah, cameras as well? There are cameras on the, or sensors on the inside, yeah. Oh, the Quest 2, how many cameras does it have? Three. Three, so this and one has. And they're extra, like oh. they're on the outside. Right. Uh, this one will be able to track, so that way when you go into Horizon Worlds with your avatar, and you're interacting with other people's avatars, yeah. you guys can laugh and see oh, that the person cool. laughing. That's nice. Right? There is an application that's for demo purposes that they let me try it on and uh, it, you know, it was able to you know, do that. And imagine uh, doing this you know, with all their industry partners coming up with some applications that can utilize that SDK. I can imagine uh, the, the future is really bright no, for VR, especially for uh, especially for owners of the Quest Pro. And apart from that, no, uh, there is also now a new, or there are new, there's a new set of controllers of the Quest Pro, which my friend JD Ross mentioned that can also work for the Quest 2, which kind of made me pumped because I want to try that out. Um, that one does not have any more, the, does not any more require uh, AAA, ba AA batteries rather, but rather it has a battery uh, um, on it so you just charge it if you wish uh, if you want now, and 
you know, it's it's a double-edged sword. It is convenient because uh, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to charge it anymore. You don't need to replace it with another a different battery and charge that rechargeable battery every now and then. But rather, you have the Quest Pro uh, controllers. Just dock it and then let it charge for a bit and get it again. It's a double-edged sword, as I mentioned, because if it runs out, if it runs out of battery, that means you will have to charge it again. And you compare that with the original Quest 2 controllers, you just take off the battery and replace it with a new one. That's far more convenient by my standards. It's all up to you how you want to do it. No? But again, um, Quest 2 versus Quest Pro, lots of changes, especially on the hardware side. And I cannot wait to try that very soon, if ever they bring that to the Philippines uh, eventually. Uh, eventually. Now, they did not mention if they will be bringing these products to the Philippines officially, but uh, I really hope that Meta Philippines uh, considers, no? or would consider, bringing those products in however they, will, they, however they would want to do that because you know, there is a market in the Philippines. Ang mga Pilipino, kapag, nag, kapag present ka talaga sa kanila na talagang kailangan mo siya, no? talagang bibili niya ng mga Pilipino. And I think, no, siguro spring... Just a few stocks in, and then you know, maybe see um, how that would be received by consumers, and take it from there. So I'm, you know, guys, knocking on you, uh, Meta, uh, for considering you know, to bring these products to the Philippines. You know, work away you know, for uh, the applications to also be available in the Philippines, especially for the Ray-Ban stories. You know? I just would like to say, th say thank you to my friends at Ogilvy you know, for hooking me up with uh, Meta and also to my Meta friends right there. I also would like to say hi to Nikki you know, uh, and Jasmine for letting me try out the products that you guys uh, showed me, uh, albeit you know, having a very, very quick time that you guys gave me. I experienced a lot with your products. This has been GN of Gadget Pilipinas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.